Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at how to start over with OS X Server. Now, I've done a screencast previously about un completely uninstalling uh, Server, um, but a few things have changed uh, just slightly, and I think it's caused some problems for some people to be able to start with a fresh install of Server. So what I'm going to do at this point is show you how to start over with Server because I'm going to do that myself uh, to walk through the install and the different components of Server like I usually do. And so rather than just do this process by myself, I thought I'd show a screencast so you can see all the different elements that go into starting over. So what you want to do first uh, in starting over is go ahead and launch your server application. And what you want to do is go to the open directory uh, area here. And what we're going to do is destroy uh, our open directory master. Now, just remember when you do this, all of the data that you've got in there and the logins and all of that will be destroyed as well. So uh, if you want to do a backup of it, uh, you can uh, do an archive. Uh, right here if you wanted to do that. And again, if I just hit this uh, archive, it would walk me through the process of setting up the archive and making that work. I'm just going to cancel that because I don't need to do that at this point. Uh, I've also shown you how to back up all these different components uh, using Bender, uh, which was another application that helps you do that. Um, but anyways, just know that this is a permanent type of a thing. So what we're going to do is come in here on Open Directory, and we're going to go ahead and destroy it. So I'm just going to hit the minus here, and it says, are you sure you want to delete uh, your Open Directory master? Because when you do that, none of the uh, services are going to work. So we're going to say delete on there. And so now it's going to delete my Open Directory master. And so it's going through the process of doing that. It might take a little bit of time uh, to do that, but we're going to go ahead and let it run and see what it looks like when it's finished here. Okay, so as you can see now, my open directory has been destroyed. The service is off. Uh, I've got to throw the switch to start it all over again, so we know that that is taken care of. Uh, now what we need to do is just go through to your various services here and turn the services off. You can see here how it's starting to stop these different services. I'm just going to go ahead and come through here and uh, just go through and stop all of the different services that I've got open. And so you want to do this for every single one of those so that they're not running uh, when we go to do the uh, uninstall because it's important that those things are closed. And so uh, each one may take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go through and go ahead and stop all of these services. And then once I've done that, uh, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, here we are back in the server application. As you can see, I've turned all the services off. There are no green lights on the side, so everything has been uh, disabled. And so that's good. We've got that all set and ready to go. So now what we need to do is just go ahead and close server. So we're going to quit server. And so now it's disappeared. And now what we need to do is we need to run uh, a script here. And so what I'm going to show you is uh, when you come into your application, so let me just come back here show you how I got here. Uh, if you go into applications here and you go down to server, you come all the way down here, and what you do is you just control click here on server and you say show package contents. And that takes you inside the actual server contents. Now what I've done is I've already drilled down to the file that we need, so let me just show you how I did that. You start in contents, then you go to server root, then you go to the uh, user folder here, share, you go to Device Manager, Back End, and then what we're going to do is run uh, the script here that says wipe uh, db.sh. Now you can see down here the way to get to that file. You know, if I just highlight it, you can see now it's there. Here is the actual path to get to that particular uh, executable. Uh, but what we're going to do is go ahead and run it. So I'm just going to double click on it here. Uh, to run it, and you can see that it's going to ask me for my password. So I need to put my password in there. and go ahead and hit enter. And you can see it's stopping device manager, it's stopping the uh, SQL database there. It's restarting, running the migration tool. You can see now it's getting rid of all of these different things and uh, it's finished. Okay, so it saved the session. Uh, the process is completed. So we've run that. That's what we want to run uh, to make sure that we're getting rid of uh, all the different components there. So let me go ahead and just uh, pop this down here. Now once we've done that, uh, all we need to do now is move the actual uh, server application to the trash. So actually what I'm going to do, let's just go back in here. Let's go over to applications here and then what we're going to do is actually take the server application to move it to the trash. Now a lot of times people just move it to the trash and think they're uninstalling all the components, uh, but in reality they're not. So we're going to put it into the trash here. 
It's going to ask us to authenticate. And we hit enter when we're done. And so now we've uninstalled the server application. Now what we need to do is just give it uh, a few minutes here uh, before it's going to um, present uh, this dialog like right here that says all the services, server apps been detected, the services have been stopped, uh, you know, it tells you the data has been preserved and all that. We're going to say OK. And so now we've actually deleted the server now. OK, server application is no longer in here and it's actually in the trash. Now we're still not done yet because we've got to delete a few more components. Okay, so we got to delete a few more components here. So let me just go ahead and put this down. And what we're going to do now is we need to delete the actual server uh, data here. So what we're going to do is go into our library folder. So that would be on your hard drive and the main library folder, not the one under users. And you want to go all the way down to where it says server right here. You can see this is all the server data. And so what we want to do is trash that. So I'm just going to hit the trash can here to throw that in the trash. It's going to ask me to authenticate. And I'm going to say OK. And so now it has removed all of that server data and put it right in the trash for me. And so that's good. Those are all my different settings and things related to server that was, uh, that was in there. OK, now that we've got that done, uh, there's a few more files that we do need uh, to remove. And so what you want to do is come down here to uh, Preferences. We're going to go in here. And we want to remove anything that's related to server here. You can see we've got this uh, server docs folder right here. Uh, in fact, let me just expand this a little bit here. You can see these server manager uh, files uh, that we've got here for preference files. And so what we want to do is go ahead and select those. We're going to need to get rid of all of those. And you just want to look to make sure there's nothing else that we're missing. And it doesn't seem like there is anything else that we have to worry about. Um, other than it uh, looks like there is. Let's just go ahead and get rid of these. I'm going to hit the trash can here. It's going to ask us to authenticate. And we're done with that. We're just going to click on OK. And so it's remove those plist files. Uh, you can see down here too, you notice we got one here um, that's for open a directory. We'll just let that one go. I think that one is pretty standard. Uh, you also might want to look in the privileged helper tools to see if there's anything else in there. Uh, as we can see, there isn't anything, so we're good with that. Now, there is one more set of uh, hidden files that we need to take a look at. And uh, in order to do that, you can either uh, try to turn on uh, hidden folders using uh, terminal. Uh, or a real easy way to do that, and let me just put this down here, would be to use an application like Pathfinder that allows you to see uh, hidden folders and things. And so I've got this little button here that makes show invisible or not. And you can see that when I click show invisible, you can see all these various files that normally aren't there. And what we're going to do is come into var right here. I mean, you can get at this using uh, the terminal as well. But we're going to come into var, and this uh, server manager uh, right here, you can see this has a lot of different configuration files. We're going to go ahead and delete that as well. And so you can see that that is now gone. Uh, it's going to ask us to authenticate. And again, once we put that information in, hit OK, and now it has gotten rid of that uh, server folder. Uh, now another place we want to look is up here in the database. Uh, area. You can see we have all these different um, folders here. And what we want to do is just look for a um, file that would say dot server setup done. And we want to look for that because that uh, has the information in it. Now it should hopefully have deleted when I deleted the server, but you never know. Sometimes those files hang around and so you just want to kind of take a look here and make sure that none of that is sitting in here so that it will basically bring back some of your previous configuration and cause you some issues. So uh, I don't see anything there. It looks like we've got all of that information taken care of. And so now with all that deleted, we should be in good shape. Now we're not quite done. Uh, there's another thing that we need to take care of, and that is we need to take a look at the certificates uh, area, and we need to take a look at Keychain to do that. Okay, so here we are over on Keychain Access. And so you can see here on login, I've got a few open directory certificates here that I need to delete. So let me just select these. You can see I've got these right here that I'm going to delete. Ask if I'm sure I want to do that, and I'll say yes. And then I've got another one right here that you can see uh, for my domain that I need to, um, that I've got right here on the open directory certificate. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that one as well.
and it's going to ask me to um, you know, put in my authenticate to get rid of that. And we'll go ahead and update the settings there. That'll remove that. And then we also want to check um, in the uh, system uh, area here for the certificates. You can see I've got those selected. And we've got a few more in here related to the server. You can see we've got some code signing certificates here. Uh, we've got one for server.local. We've got the fallback certificate. So let's get rid of, uh, get rid of a few of these right here related to server. And then we also want to get rid of the, you can see here I've got the server manager right here. So I want to get rid of that. Um, I had something there for Xcode as well. I got something for the Collab uh, D uh, information there. And uh, I'll just get rid of this one too because I'm not using that one right now either. And then we go ahead and just command on those, delete those seven items, uh, authenticate again. And we're going to modify the keychain. It says, you sure you want to do that? And we're going to say, yes, delete. It's going to ask us one more time to authenticate and we'll update the settings and so now it's placed all those in the trash and so we've got all our certificates taken care of we've gotten rid of all the various uh, certificate items related to our server and so now we're done so let's go ahead and just put this down now what we can do is actually uh, go to the uh, trash here and you can see we've got server uh, there in the trash and, and sitting there waiting for us and all we need to do now is we can drag that back into uh, the Applications folder. And it's going to ask us to authenticate. And we say OK. And now we've got a server back in our applications. And when we launch it, and you can see it's right down here. And when we launch it, we should now have a clean install of OS X Server. So hopefully that helps you with uh, starting fresh with server. Again, there are a few little uh, extra things in there that I wasn't able to cover previously because there were a couple of changes, but hopefully that helps you get started. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.